When Smash Ultimate dropped, Smash 4 Champion Zero decided to retire, and that's when many of the Smash 4 players decided on trying to take the number one spot. MKLeo, the most prominent Smash 4 player after Zero's retire, came into Ultimate winning a lot of big events. Rival players such as Tweak, Nairo, Samsora, and Mars did keep some competition for MKLeo, but that was all up until April 2019. On April 17th, Joker released as the first Fighters Pass DLC character in Smash Ultimate. MKLeo took to the character almost immediately, and the results came shortly after. First at CEO, first at EVO, and first at Super Smash Con. This became a very common trend. In fact, Leo has been placed below second in an offline event for around a year. Yes, we said offline event, due to the fact that online, MKLeo hasn't been able to win a single tournament, not even place top three since just the other day. So what factors has made it so that the best player in the world is struggling in the online environment? Let's find out. First, our question of the day. How seriously do you take online tournaments? Let us know in the comments below. If you're stuck and want to improve your Smash gameplay, ProGuides.com has the answers you're looking for. Our site features detailed guides on every character in the game, so you can learn exactly what you want to learn and when you want to learn it. If you're looking for a broader topic, our pro courses featuring top players such as MKLeo himself will let you learn fundamentals from the best, and you can even access personal coaching via our Play of Pros platform. ProGuides has recently launched our new live streams, which you can check out right here on our YouTube channel. Streamed lessons on YouTube are free to watch every day weekday at 12 p.m. Pacific time, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified when we go live. The quarantine series of new online tournaments kicked off with an opening invitation on March 29th. The bracket featured most of the world's best players in the world, such as Sam Sora, Nairo, and MKLeo. Despite the different format, many of us were still surprised to see Leo take a 7th place. His winner's bracket run was ended by Void, who has yet to beat him offline, and he was eliminated by Best Ness in this set using Piranha Plant. Best Ness is a very high level player, but he and Leo had not faced off prior to this event, and the character choice of Piranha Plant was a topic of wide discussion. Next in the Quarantine series was the first minor event held on April 18th. Leo placed only 17th, one of his lowest placings in any Ultimate Tournament. He was defeated in winner's bracket by Rat, a relatively unknown Pichu main who made a name for himself with this victory, even going on to be featured in Zero's YouTube videos. Leo was eliminated by Cola in loser's bracket. Cola has placed very well in the majority of these online events, but as with the others, he's never taken a set off Leo offline. Before we go any further, there are tons of important things to be aware of here. For one thing, Smash Ultimate plays a bit differently online. You probably know this, and if you aren't aware of how big of an issue it can be, simply search the hashtag FixUltimateOnline on Twitter. Ultimate Online play adds input delay, which makes control and reaction much more difficult to local play. This results in a game that rewards reads more and reactions less than offline. Naturally, this also affects character viability. In offline tournaments, MKLeo's Joker overwhelms opponents with precise spacing and movement, technical combos, and reflexive whiff punishes. All of these strategies are difficult or less effective with online lag, and because of this, Leo stated that he doesn't like playing Joker online. In fact, Leo has not used Joker in any of these online tournaments, opting at first for Lucina and Byleth, and lately playing Cloud and Wolf. Although Leo states himself that he finds Joker difficult to play online, this could also be seen as a smart choice for his image. The input delay and free entry makes online tournaments a less serious environment, but many viewers still take those results seriously. Even if you take an online tournament seriously, none of the placings or losses involve Leo's Joker, which is his best character and he's won countless times offline. So the Leo Joker cannot be tainted by any of these negative results. Another important detail to point out is that Leo lives in Mexico. Online lag is increased the further the two players are apart, and Leo's location makes him a bit farther from most of the US and all of Europe. This of course doesn't hurt Leo any more than it does his opponents, but it's a significant variable when judging what makes his environment different from the offline tournaments that he dominated. Despite the conditions, Leo has been determined to improve his Smash Online gameplay, experimenting with different characters and entering more events. On April 30th, Leo entered the Buck Cakes Invitational, a small event featuring many notable players. His first set was against Leon's Bowser, which defeated his Byleth. In loser's bracket, Leo brought out the cloud he'd been experimenting with, but was unable to defeat Esam's Pikachu. The very next day, however, Leo entered Nairo's Naifu Wars tournament, featuring players such as Sonics, Meister, and Cola. He continued using Cloud and Wolf in place of his former choices of Lucina and Byleth, and made it quite far in a winner's bracket, losing a close set to Sonics in winner's semis. In loser's semis, he found himself matched up against 
against Meister's Game & Watch. Leo has an overwhelmingly positive record against Meister offline, but Meister has placed very well in many of the online events recently. Leo opted for his cloud and was able to take out Meister in a close 3-2 victory. This put Leo in losers finals, facing off against Sonics who defeated him in winners. Despite his best efforts with Cloud and Wolf, Leo was unable to take the win and found himself in third place. Even so, this marked a new high point for Leo's online tournament career and showed promise that he might be able to claim the title of the best in the world in this territory as well. Next, MKLeo entered the Quarantine Series Major on May 2nd. This marked his third daily tournament in a row, with the Buck Cakes and Knife Awards events serving as potential warm-ups for this one, which had big prize money on the line. Leo's Cloud and Wolf were back in full force, defeating the Buzz 3-0 with Wolf shortly after the Buzz had placed second at Pound Online. Moving on, he 3-0'd Meister with Cloud after going 3-2 against him just the night before. Next up, Leo faced off up against Spargo, a fellow Mexican countryman in Cloud Main. Spargo has seen a ton of success in recent online events, but Leo was able to defeat him 3-1, only dropping a single game. This put him in winner's semifinals against Best Ness, who had last 3-0'd him with Piranha Plant. In addition to this recent win, Best Ness has placed very well in online events, taking first in the April Quarantine Series Major. The matchup was Best Ness's signature Ness against Leo's Cloud. This time, Leo reversed the script, swiftly 3-0'ing Best Ness to move on to winner's finals for a run back against Sonics. Leo lost a close 3-2 set to Sonics, sending him to fight Meister in losers finals. Leo persisted and once again was able to 3-0 Meister for another shot at finding Sonics in the grand finals. Sadly, Leo was unable to take the victory, but yet he reached a new peak online placing second at one of the most competitive events yet. The change of results shows us a few things about Leo's struggle and his efforts. For one thing, he's clearly found more success with Wolf and Cloud than Lucina and Byleth. But this isn't to say those characters are objectively better for him, as Leo's won major tournaments with Lucina, and well, sort of with Byleth as well. Finding characters that Leo can play to his strengths, but also be consistent and reliable with online lag is what he needed, and these two seem to be the good picks. Cloud's massive range of disjointed hitboxes mitigate some of the issues that come from online spacing, requiring far less precision and reducing the likeliness of trades. Limit also gives Cloud a dangerous comeback mechanic and a way to secure stocks via early percent edge guards. Wolf also has relatively large hitboxes, powerful KO moves that can turn one read into a stock, and of course, the laser. Dealing with projectiles and campy playstyles is difficult online, and having an amazing projectile like Wolf's laser lets him combat the strategy and perform it himself. This pick helped Leo win crucial sets, such as against the Buzz's Olimar. Wolf also proved to be useful for Leo against Sonics. Although he was unable to secure the victory, Sonic is a particularly different character to deal with online. His spin dash and spin charge are pretty much unreactable burst options offline, and online forced the opponent to make many guesses in neutral. If Sonic manages to connect one of these moves, he can drag the opponent offstage and even combo into aerials for relatively early KOs. Most of the time though, Sonic's attributes aren't used to KO the opponent, but used to stay mobile and avoid well, anything. Many Sonic players, like Sonic's, favors a more passive style of gameplay that leads to very long matches, sometimes even timeouts. Once Sonic has a lead, he can use his special moves to shoot himself through the air and across the stage to become very difficult to catch. At the same time, he retains the potential to activate an unreactable burst option at any time, so the opponent must stay on their toes at all times, even when Sonic is running away. MKLeo has not played Sonic's offline, so we can't know for sure if the result would be any different. That being said, Sonics is one of the players who have seen drastically boosted results in the online season. These players could very well be improving at the same time, much like MKLeo has done in the online format, but at the end of the day, the online results are noticeably different than offline. Leo's efforts have also helped him improve his online results. On his personal stream, Leo's been reaching out and training with many top players such as Meister, Spargo, Zero, and Mr. E. Despite openly stating that he isn't too fond of playing online, which very few of us are, Leo's kept a positive attitude and focused on finding the best characters and playstyle to win online. Most recently, MKLeo entered The Box, a massive online tournament hosted by Hungrybox and NFL star player LeVon Bell. Leo ran into many opponents, but found himself losing a close 2-1 set to JW's Greninja. In loser's bracket, Leo got the run back of Prodigy that he had wanted after dropping a set to him in winner's bracket of Frostbite. For the Mario matchup, he was determined to try out his Byleth, but he was unable to defeat Prodigy, again failing to secure one game. Was this performance a fluke, proof of online's inconsistencies, or does Leo still have a ways to go in the netplay world? Only time will tell. One thing that can't be argued is MKLeo's incredible success in legitimate offline tournaments. His achievements are by far the greatest in Smash Ultimate's competition so far, and we hope to see more of offline Leo as soon as it's safe to resurrect local events. Make sure to let us know what you think of MKLeo's online escapades in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Pro Guides and click the bell so you never miss out on the next upload.